Hey, how are you? It's Cass here. So today's video is going to be uh, based on two subjects. First, I want to talk about money and education. So I don't know if you guys know this unless you've been following me, but my why is to make the money that's necessary for my daughter to go to school. I grew up with the mindset, you know, instilled, my mom's a baby boomer, you know, post-World War II, uh, you know, go to school, get good grades, get a job, work a job, um, you know, do your time, get your pension. And this is, this is the programming, okay? Um, and so I used to harass my daughter when she was in, you know, grade school and, and high school, like, you got to go to school, you got to go to school, you got to go to school, right? So I pushed, and she didn't want to go. And I used to say to her, you know what, honey, you got to, you know, you got to do your homework, do the paper so you can get the paper, so you can go get a paper so you can make more paper. And that's the way it is. That's the programming we receive is you got to have a college degree in order to make a lot of money. Uh, over time, especially in the last two years, I have realized that this is not necessarily true. Some of the most wealthy people in this country have not gone to college, actually in the world. However, you do have to invest in yourself. You do have to invest in your evolution and you do have to invest in education. It doesn't necessarily have to be college, but it do, you do have to educate yourself. And it does have to be an ongoing process. If you're not learning, you're standing still. So she did choose not to go to a traditional college. My daughter is an artist, and she will be going to some type of artistic school. And that is what I work for. That's why I got into. Um, well, it's it's not exactly why I got into network marketing, but it's it's one of the reasons why I don't quit. Okay, I got into network marketing because I almost died and I could not go to my 60 hour a week jobs anymore. I was forced. A huge disruptive change happened in my life. And it was a blessing. And that brings me to my next subject, which is loss. Okay, now when I tell people what happened to me, they go, oh, like I lost. I'm, mind you, I'm still alive. I did not lose, but they act like I lost. They act like I lost because what happened to me was that I discovered I have an incurable illness that's never going to going away, and that I must be cognizant of this particular illness for the rest of my life, and I must maintain for the rest of my life. And they act like this was a loss, and you know, loss is a crazy thing because. It, it's like it's a it's like a coin like anything else it has two sides right so one person can take a loss and it, it can kill them it devastates them it just ruins their life it just kills them and the other person can see the loss uh, with gratitude and see it as a lesson learned and see it as an ev an opportunity for evolution and see it as something where they could they, they see where they went wrong and now they can figure out how to do it right. So they get another chance. And that was me. I was not going to let the loss or the sense of loss make me feel like a loser. A loser is a loser because of how they internalize and personalize the activity of losing. That's what makes a loser. Not the actual losing of the game or whatever it is, okay? And I was not going to be a loser. I was not going to be defeated by this seemingly chronic illness that could kill me. I was not going there. I wasn't even entertaining that. And the doctors thought it was a little bit nuts, but I don't care. I was accepting nothing less. And it worked. And I'm in remission for over a year. So, you know, you cannot let a pothole ruin your car kind of thing. You know, you can't do it. And the same goes with the money. You got to spend money on yourself. 
You have to spend money on your business. If you want it to go anywhere, you have to spend money. You cannot sit on the fence and be like, well, I don't, you know, I don't have any money. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you pay cable, you know, you buy food, you buy clothes, you buy this, you buy that. You have money somewhere. And it doesn't take a lot of money, but you got to get off the fence and commit to spending it. Okay? I was on the fence, and my mentor pushed me a little bit. You know, he's like, you got to get in there. And I did. And it wasn't even a lot of money. It was like $150. You know? But you have to spend the money. Whether it's on education, you know, taking marketing classes, coaching classes, self-improvement seminars. You have to spend the money to make money. And on a small scale... You have to spend money maybe on an autoresponder or maybe on setting up a funnel or maybe on a landing page or, you know, maybe on some advertisement. You know, you have to spend money. The other thing you have to spend is time. You have to invest the time. People say, I don't have any time to go to school. I don't have any time to go to a seminar. I don't have time. Really? Because what you're doing is spending all your time building someone else's dream. You know the saying? If you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to build theirs. So is that what you have no time? Because let me tell you something. When I landed up in the emergency room, my boss was not calling me. They were not calling me. And when I couldn't get out of the hospital, they called, then they called. Yeah, they called to tell me that if I didn't get out of the hospital and get back to work, they were going to fire me. Never mind that I was hooked up to a hemodialysis machine and they were giving me new plasma. Never mind that I had a team of like 10 doctors telling me I might die. All my boss cared about was whether or not I could get there to earn money for him. Okay? Don't be that person. And if you are that person, shut the computer and go watch TV. Just stop right now. Because there's four people in this world. Four kinds. There's winners. There's people who like to be comfortable. There's people who like to be liked. And there's people who like to be right. And only the people who are winners will succeed, will make huge amounts of money, will really, really live outside the box. Because those people don't care about being comfortable. They don't care about being liked. And they don't care about being right. They can put their ego aside. They can be coached. They can be taught. They are willing to absorb information. They are willing to educate themselves to get to the next step. To get to the next place. You know, people idolize athletes, but you guess what? They have to train. They have to train. They have to listen to a coach. They have to be coachable. And only then do they become winners. Winners are like molded yes you need to have an inner fire and a determination and you have to have something inside you that burns to be on top that is determined to win no matter what but you also have to be willing to learn you have to be willing to listen you have to be willing to take a chance and get out of your comfort zone so spend some money if you really want to be an entrepreneur and you really want to succeed at network marketing doesn't matter what opportunity you do this is a core value and I share this with you because I want you to succeed I want you to feel that rush of winning so that's all for today have a great great day and win <laughs>